Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to remove or reduce or eliminate drum beats from a TV signal or a radio signal or any audio signal. I'm going to use some equipment here. As you see, we have uh, a compressor which also has capability of ducking and we have an equalizer. Of course, we have my TV. My recorder, satellite receiver, some uh, cable TV modulators, and uh, the idea here is to use docking because docking we can s select specific frequencies and use docking. And this is the manual of the compressor. It says MDX2600. By the way, this is an MDX2600, and this is an DEQ2496. Okay. And we are reading the manual for the the compressor. It says in eliminating interference, we can use this diagram side chain send a going to equalizer. This is a port, and we go to equalizer, and then the side, and then go back to side chain return. And then now the equalizer must be set so that all frequencies are reduced. In level except for the fre interference frequencies so we also see that uh, the, the interference signal will trigger the compression using this technique you can for example reduce the dynamics of a bass drum that is too loud which I want actually to remove and an existing recording simply use an equalizer to cut all frequencies of 150 Hertz so that the compression will be triggered by the individual individual bits of the bass drum and to monitor the equalizer, we can press the sidechain monitor switch. And then here is the recommended uh, settings to start with. Very nice. So I tried that. And first, I'm going to show you how the equalizer works. Uh, it's quite tight here. This is what you're seeing is the real-time analyzer now. And I'll check the I.O switch here and you will see that the art real-time analyzer is connected to main in so what we are seeing when you press this is the original audio now if you want to see the if you want to see the resulted uh, resulting passes audio we are going to transfer the RTA to the main out and then we press RTA link and you see the main out you see we are reducing all the frequencies above 150 Hertz and amplifying all the frequencies below 150 Hertz trying to catch the drums the bass drums specifically and we use this signal that's strong to drive the compressor as you see now it is compressing something and maybe something is playing here that has many of those uh, bass frequencies you see the compression is happening and then we'll check the original uh, do routing to see that the original frequency is the original frequencies now I'll show you the graphics equalizer I press GEQ and you see the graph uh, GEQ here we are amplifying frequencies above 100 hertz or 150 hertz and then we are uh, reducing all frequencies above it so that's it and we also have aside from that we have also a parametric equalizer you press that and you will see I tried to do the same thing now if you press bypass here you no know, bypass you will see that there is a GEQ there is a PEQ and the rest of the functionality that the DQ dynamics with and limiter I don't use them I don't use this uh, nice toy as an equalizer for now so there are other many other functions here but that's all and uh, you see it uh, happening now if we press SC mon the 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 frequency monitor is going to come out and then if we press low contour here uh, if we press in out it, it doesn't work so all the original just goes through and I, I'm sorry I can't show you 
because uh, <laughs> you know we don't want to advertise negatively the channels we're just trying to listen to what we want so yep that's it i hope you learned something